Okay, my friends, this is Cindy Routson. I am um, going to share with you today some of the things that I've been working on this past year or a couple years because I'm a little slow with things. Anyways, um, a couple years ago, I started Bible journaling in my, um, in my scriptures. I started doing it in my Book of Mormon first because I didn't know why... Um, us Mormon women were not doing this. <laughs> I followed all kinds of Bible journalers on um, Instagram and Pinterest, and I loved their work. And I thought, I wonder if I should start doing this. Anyways, I did start doing it, and I love it. I'm um, hooked, and it really, truly has changed my life. Um, I've gained a stronger testimony by doing it, and I just thought that... Um, I would share with you what I'm doing. And um, so anyways, I had this idea at the time about three years ago when I started doing it that I wanted to have a wide margin Book of Mormon. And at the time, there were no, no wide margin Book of Mormons. And um, at least there were a few, but they weren't cute. And <laughs> I wanted a cute one. <coughs> so anyways, I um, started working on it. And I wrote Salt Lake City uh, to get permission to get the Book of Mormon. Um, could I print it? What could I do? And um, it was a really long process for me because I'm super slow. And I'm a working mom. And anyways, so lots of excuses there. But um, I, my sister and I worked on it. And, um, and then she got busy doing other things. And I got busy doing other things. And then... Some wonderful girls were listening to the Spirit and and were directed to do it as well. And their books are beautiful. The line upon line ones, I love them. And um, so anyways, but I had already started working on mine. And so I thought, I'll keep doing mine. Mine will be different. And so this is what I've come up with. I, um, I'm excited to share it with you. Um, it's different. It's fun. It's um, completely made for people that want to do scripture journaling in their Book of Mormon. And especially this next year that we're studying the Book of Mormon, I think it's a really good time. Um, so I don't know how I really want to do it. I think I'm going to put the PDF online so that you can buy the PDF and you can print it yourself or you can order it through me. Now, I have not found a great place to have these printed yet and all of that, the nitty gritty of it all, but um, I think what I have is pretty cute. And uh, let, let me just share with you what I first came up with. And so that is, well, I have three different covers. So let me just flip this around, if I can do it. Okay, so this is what I've come up with. I have this cover that I designed and um, painted and just had a really good time with. And then there's this one. Um, and I thought that was cute. I painted that too. And, and then this one right here. And I put my name on the bottom of that one. I thought that turned out pretty cute. So what I decided to do is have them bound with these discs, like the Happy Planners. So if you have a happy planner punch, you can punch them just like this and put the discs in. And they're super cute. Look at they have hearts on them. I mean, can you get any cuter than that? And then when you open it up, um, see how it opens up like that. And the beauty of having a disc bound um, Book of Mormon is that you can take the page and you can just pull it right out. And then you can paint on it. You could even laminate that page. You could um, do whatever you wanted to on it. And then it just pops back in. Um, I'm gonna try and do it with one hand. It would be easier if I had two, but it just pops back in. So it's kind of delicate. So I don't think it's really super great for little kids, but for, um, you know, teenagers on up, I think that'd be really great. Now, I made these um, dividers 
and these ones are cut out and they're super cute but they're very time <laughs> sensitive because I did it on my silhouette and they did turn out really great and I do really like them but um, I don't know what I would have to charge for those because they they really do take a lot of time but I could also just put the plan on there the um, silhouette guide I took a scripture from each um, book and I put it on the on the divider and I think it turned out really cute um, treasure now in the front I did um, this one I started coloring myself and I did laminate this page because I just wanted to see if it would work and it turned out good so it has a place to put your name and who this book mom belongs to and then um, I just put a quote right here by Joseph Smith and then I started um, Bible journaling or or book of Mormon journaling in this um, book this is a stamp and this is a stamp and I just colored it in and I put the book of Mormon right here anyways this is where I started doing it. I put washi tape on the top and the bottom and the margins are big enough for washi tape on each of them I put a cool chart right here of how the Book of Mormon is comprised and then a cute page here that I colored in um, for the books in the Book of Mormon and then in the back of the book I put um, a reading chart that you can keep track um, of reading their stories so you can um, color these in and I thought that that turned out pretty cute so you can color in the books within the Book of Mormon as you're reading the book and at each chapter heading I just did um, an arrow now the margins are left blank in this book but you can get it with lined if you would like because some people um, like the lines better but some people just like it plain and um, so that's the same with this book the font some people think I've asked friends and stuff they think it's a little too small so it's an 8.5 <clears throat> and I do have to have my glasses on to read it but I did it in one column and it does not have the cross references at the bottom so that's just all information for you it's a kind of a fun way to read it it's different um, and it's formatted I spent hours formatting it and <clears throat> anyways I think it turned out really really nice um, this book also so it um, I put the striped paper on the inside and then this on the outside and it's a real heavy lamination and um, I think they turned out really cute this one does not have the tabs in it and that's how I would um, sell it just basic no tabs but the front and the back and if you would like to have your name put on it then that would probably just be a little bit more and then this one so I just did um, the arrow I thought that turned out pretty cool and then Cindy routes and that's my name on the front and this one I started doing a few tabs but I hadn't hadn't done all of it so anyways then I had friends telling me it's just too small Cindy I need the font a little bit bigger and so in order to do that and I really wanted a square so one, I made a square one myself and it is bigger so you can see it next to the other one this is nine by six and this is eight and a half by eight and a half so this one um, is bigger font obviously has the same same things on the inside and I did put lines on this one because people would like lines but I can I can print it without the lines too I can I can do it either way and this one I made all the tabs just printed and I think they turned out super cute and of course you can make your own or you can um, or you can buy these for me I don't know how much they'd be but um, I'll have to figure that out um, I think it turned out really cute I'm so excited to share this with you and then in the back it also has the chart so let me just show you the chart here we go so this is the chart in the back so the reading chart in the back um, I think that it's super fun 
it's just bigger, so it's kind of bulky. You certainly wouldn't want to take it, you know, to church with you because it's too big. But um, that's not what scripture journaling is about. It's about sitting at home and um, coloring and painting and just being in the Word and really letting it sink in. So this one, I also I wanted to show you this bookmark I did up here. Holy cow. I mean, the ideas are endless with these punches because I just made a bookmark out of some extra lamination. And then you can just take this out and, you know, I have it punched in there, but you can just take it out <laughs> and put it wherever it is that you're reading. And then just, just punch it back in there and then you've got it all set for, for where you are. Um, I also had an idea of just making little um, tabs like this. And then you can just put that in, you know, this way, punch it in there, huh, and then have one for each book that way too. And I thought those turned out really cute. Anyways, I just cut that out with my silhouette. Pretty cute. So many ideas, and I'm just so excited to share this with you. And maybe if you guys would like to buy this from me, <laughs> Um, I can put them on um, my Etsy shop, or I can also put it on my website at scripturefun.com. All right. I forgot <clears throat> to film the back of the book. This one says, the, the Book of Mormon is a gift from God to all mankind, Russell M. Nelson. And then this one, big one, I put the same thing. I'm... I like this one better now, so I'd probably change that to this one. <laughs> but the Book of Mormon is a gift from God to all mankind. Russell M. Nelson. I thought that turned out super cute. This one just says scripture fun. Anyways, but I think I would do the gift one on all of them because I think that that turned out super cute. Also, on the big size, you can get the different covers as well for the big one. I'm sure I just did that really fast and I shouldn't have done that. Um, so what I'm thinking is the smaller size book, um, I would sell it for, with, with no tabs, um, for $35. And the big one, it costs a lot more to have printed and so I'd have to go more like um, $60 on that one. So. That's my idea. Let me know what you think. Okay, friends, so I just wanted to share with you these ideas and thoughts. And um, if you're interested, just DM me and we will put an order together. 